Welcome to Electro Online, and now let's do an example of how to find the intensity of an A-slit interference pattern when the phase angle is 30 degrees. All right, we got to remember that the central maximum of an interference pattern like that, the central maximum, and also we haven't yet seen what the general interference pattern looks like, but we'll get to that later. But we know that the intensity of the central maximum is equal to the number of slits squared times I sub naught. So in this case, I would be equal to 64 times I sub naught. So what would, be the, what would be the intensity when the phase angle is 30 degrees? All right, 30 degrees, of course, that would be 1 12th of a wavelength. How do we do that? Well, here we can see that we can find E total by using this equation right there. So E total is equal to E sub naught times the ratio of the sine of the number of slits times the phase angle divided by 2 divided by the sine of the phase angle divided by 2. Then we also know that the intensity can be found, intensity can be directly found by saying that's equal to I sub naught times the sine of n times the phase angle divided by 2 divided by the sine of the phase angle divided by 2 quantity squared. So actually we don't even need to find what the electric field intensity is. We can directly jump to this equation by using this general e equation for n number of slits. So let's plug in the numbers and see what we get. So this is equal to I sub naught times the quantity, the sine of 8 times 30 degrees divided by 2 divided by the sine of 30 degrees divided by 2. And the whole thing quantity squared. So this is equal to I sub naught times, that would be the sine of, that would be 4 times 30 or 120 degrees divided by the sine of 15 degrees and the quantity squared. So even if we get a negative number there, since we're squaring it, it'll always be a positive quantity. So the 120 degrees, take the sine of that, and divide that by 15, take the sine of that, equals, and square that number, we get 11.2. Round it off to three numbers. So this would be 11.2 I sub naught. So in this general sense, we're probably, since this is 64, we're probably somewhere around there, which means that a 30 degree phase angle puts us not quite at the minimum, but towards the minimum with an intensity of 11.2 times the intensity uh, of a single phase, or I should say a, a single ray, and so that would be about one-fifth, one-sixth the maximum of the central max. And that's how we find the intensity of any sort of diffraction or interference pattern, not diffraction pattern, but interference pattern with any number of slits. Simply use this as a general equation and out pops the actual intensity. So pretty quick, pretty straightforward. What we're going to do in the future though is give you a better idea of what this interference pattern looked like with any number of slits because that's still something we need to explore a little bit further.